What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your RockU Mini USB recording interface. As you can see, it comes with the interface itself along with a USB cable so we can connect the interface to our computer which is actually going to be the first step to our setup. So to do that, I'm going to take the USB cable, I'm going to take the USB B end and plug it right into the interface, then I'm going to take the other end and plug it right into my computer. Now the interface is compatible with both Macs and PCs so the setup is going to be the exact same, though with some of the newer MacBooks with USB-C ports, you may need this USB-A to USB-C adapter here. So we'll take the USB end of our interface and plug it into the USB-A port on the adapter and then plug the USB-C end right into the computer. After you've connected your interface to your computer, you're going to want to go into the sound settings and switch your input and output device. Now while you're in the sound settings on your Mac, you'll go over here to this input section, click on it, and then you'll see the available devices ready to use for your input device. Then to use the Rocky Mini as your input device, you'll actually want to hover down here to the bottom and click on this device that reads SXW CTUAD 192 Record. And then we're going to do the same thing to use the interface as our output device, so we'll click on Output here on top. And then we'll want to click on this device here that reads SXW CTUAD 192 PRS Playback. Now to do this on PCs, you'll want to start by going to the drop menu under this output sign and click on the device that reads speakers RUSB ASIO. Then you're going to want to do the same exact thing for your input device and click on the device that reads line RUSB ASIO. Now if we take a look at the back of the interface, you'll see we have two quarter inch left and right main outputs. So we can plug in a pair of speakers to hear back our recording in real time or hear back our mix while we're mixing. So to connect our speakers to the interface, Face, I'm gonna need a couple of TS quarter inch cables. I'm gonna take one end of both cables and plug them into the back of my speakers. Then I'm gonna take the other ends and plug them into the left and right outputs on the back of my interface. Now we can control the volume of what comes out of our speakers with the main mix knob here on top of the RockU Mini. And as a quick note, you want to make sure both of your speakers are set to the same volume on the back panel so that this way when you're listening back or mixing, you're not hearing any more come out of the left or the right, but you're hearing both equally. Now when you're recording in the same room where you have your monitor set up, you'll actually want to lower the main mix knob so that your mic won't pick up anything coming out of your speakers and potentially cause a feedback loop. But if you do want to hear everything back while you're recording, you can always plug in a pair of headphones to the headphone jack here on the interface and raise the phone knobs to increase the volume of what you're hearing back. So now that we've got our speakers and our headphones set up, let's go over the channels on the RockU Mini. Now channel 1 has a combo input jack so we can use quarter inch cables for line level signals or instruments and the XLR input for microphones with an XLR cable. So here I have a dynamic microphone and an XLR cable that I'm going to plug into channel 1. So we'll take the female end of our XLR cable and plug that into our microphone. Then I'm going to take the male end and plug it into the XLR input on channel 1. Then from there I can raise the level knob for channel 1. So to hear everything back you can go into the output section here and leave this button unpressed so that the interface is in direct monitor mode. In this mode you'll hear the mic or the instruments that you connect to channels 1 and 2 on top of whatever is coming out of your computer. Computer. This is useful because you won't get any latency and you can monitor your signals right at the input stage. And when you press this button down, you'll set the interface into DAW monitor mode. When you have this button pressed down in DAW monitor mode, it will mute everything coming into channels 1 and 2, so you'll only hear what's coming out of your DAW or your computer playback. So if you want to hear your inputs while using DAW monitor mode, you need to activate the monitoring from inside of your DAW. You'll just want to be careful if you're monitoring anything from your studio monitors while your microphone is on, because this could generate a feedback loop if you set the level on your mic too loud. You'll also want to be sure to disable the DAW monitoring while your speakers are on, or else you'll cause a feedback loop. So to tell it's working, we can turn our microphone on and check one, two, you should be able to hear my voice coming through the speakers. Now we can also set up a condenser microphone to the interface as well. So just like in our last setup, we'll connect a condenser microphone to channel one, just like before. And really important, you'll want to flip the plus 48 volt switch here on the back of the interface to send 48 volts to power your condenser microphone through the XLR cable. After that, we'll raise the level knob for channel one. Now most condenser microphones are very sensitive and pick up sound at a very hot level. So you might want to activate this minus 25 dB pad button here, depending 
on the microphone sensitivity. So if I raise the main mix knob, check one, two, check one, two, you should be able to hear my voice through the condenser microphone. Now channel 2 has an instrument input so we can plug in a guitar, bass, keyboard, or synth. So to show you that setup, I have my guitar here and I'm going to need a quarter inch cable. So I'm going to take one end of my quarter inch cable and plug that into my guitar. Then I'm going to take the other end and plug it into channel 2. And then I'm going to want to raise the level on the guitar itself. So now if I go ahead and play my guitar, you should be able to hear it coming through. So now that we've got everything set up, let's get to recording. Now there are free DAWs out there that you can use like GarageBand that come included on all Macs and Audacity that you can download onto your PC that are compatible with the RockU Mini so you can start recording and mixing right as you set up the interface. And in the description we have links to all of these free DAWs that you can use. For this demo today I'm going to use GarageBand on my Mac. Now similar to what we did earlier when we changed the input and output settings on our computer, we'll want to go into the sound settings of our DAW and do the same exact thing. So here I am at the sound preferences of our DAW. So I'm going to do the same exact thing as I did before and change the output device to the playback and the input device to record. So from there we can create tracks on our DAW and start recording. Keep in mind if you just want to use channel 1 for recording, you're going to switch the input on your track to input 1. And if you just want to record the guitar, you're going to switch the input on your track to input 2. Or you can set the input to 1 and 2 and record your vocals and guitar at the same time on the same track. So now I want to record a sample for you guys so you can hear how the interface sounds while we're recording. Now for you Pro Tools users out there, there is an extra step if you want to use the interface with this program. All you'll have to do is make an aggregate device for the interface itself. To do that, we'll go into the audio MIDI settings. As you can see, I already have one set up for the interface, but we can do it again just to show you how to do it. So you want to go to this plus sign here on the bottom left corner, click it and then click on create aggregate device. From there, you'll see all the inputs and outputs available to add. So for the Rock Mini, we'll want to select both the playback and the record for the input and the output. After that, we can hover over the name of the device here and rename it to make it easier. So here, I'm going to rename it Rock U Mini. After that, we'll go back into Pro Tools and go to the Setup tab here. Next, we'll click on Playback Engine and then switch the Playback Engine to Rock U Mini. After that, we can use the Rock U Mini with Pro Tools to lay down tracks and mix. Now, real quick before I go, I just want to show you guys a cool setup you can do with a condenser microphone and a DI box like our RDI 5 to record guitar tracks. This way, we're not only recording our guitar amp, but we're also getting the clean signal of our guitar at the same time. This is possible because this is a two-channel interface, so we can use channel 1 for our condenser microphone and channel 2 for our direct guitar feed. So first I can go into the program I'm using and create two audio tracks. So we'll call one guitar mic and the next one guitar DI. Then we'll assign the input for the tracks with the guitar mic as input one and the guitar DI as input two. So I already have my condenser microphone set up to channel one on my interface. So next we'll set up our DI box. For that, I'm gonna need two quarter inch cables. I'll take one cable and plug it into my guitar. Then I'll take the other end and plug it into the input here on my DI box. So next I'll take my second quarter inch cable and plug one end into the through here on my DI. Then I'll plug the other end into the input on my guitar amp. So next we'll need to connect the DI box into our Rock U Mini. To do that, I'll need a female XLR to quarter inch cable. I'll take the female XLR end and plug that into the XLR output here on our DI. Then I'll take the quarter inch end and plug that into the input on channel two on the Rock U Mini. Now I wanna make sure that the plus 48 volt switch is turned on for our condenser microphone. And then I wanna make sure my condenser microphone is placed in front of the amp like so. So now I'll go ahead and turn on my guitar amp. Then I'll raise both channels here on my interface. So now I'll go ahead and grab my guitar, turn up the volume here. Now I'll go ahead and record enable our tracks. So now if I start to play a little bit, you'll see the signal coming in through here on the guitar mic and the guitar DI tracks. So now to hear my tracks through the DAW, I'll put on my headphones and raise the phones knob here. And now I'm all set to start recording my tracks.
So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Rocky Mini USB recording interface. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.